Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. You know what I do, so let me get into it. Hold on here. All right. Today, I don't like that. Let's get back over here. Today, I'm going to talk about the Indiana anti... What's that? The Indiana... What's that? The, the Freedom Freedom Restoration Act of Indiana. Now, the Freedom Restoration Act supposedly allows businesses to circumvent the, the discrimination laws, basically. What it is, is... Now, to me, I can see and I can see not. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not everybody's on there. Please don't go with the race, please. That's old and dated, and it's a slippery slope. And if you want to go with the race, I can go with the uh, you got with with uh, pedophilia. See what I'm saying? So let's let's go with not do it. Let's don't compare the race, which I know they're going to do it anyway, you dumbasses. But uh, the Freedom of Our Restoration Act. Uh, it was modeled after a, it was it was basically it was it's modeled after a law it was a federal law based uh, that was passed in uh, 1993. Uh, it, it, what it is is uh, people don't have the business don't have to participate in matters where it's it, 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 it's against their religious consciousness. Remember how Chick Fil A? Remember how they were going through their stuff? Well, um, we had a situation here where. Uh, a uh, film company, well, uh, uh, they were uh, what they, uh, a, a, fun, a film company. Yeah, they were. They did weddings and stuff. Uh, it it made kind of made headlines. They refused to do a couple, and uh, people were flipping out. Well, how can you how can you discriminate? I mean, see, and that's the point. I can see the law on that standpoint because if you if you really really are religious like that and you don't believe in that. Taking their money is like taking money from the devil, which we all take money from the devil, don't we? But uh, I'm just saying, I can see that point. But in another way is, how far do you have to go? Well, if you're at a diner, say you're at a diner somewhere and you see two lesbians sitting in the corner. Now, I'll make it even, I'll make it even better. Say you, two, see, say you have a white guy, two, a white guy and a black guy, and they're married, and then they got kids. Don't make it really. Don't make it really. Make it obvious for you to hate this one. <laughs> they, they, they got kids. They're sitting in the diner, and the diner says, "Hey, it's against our religion. Can you please?" Now I can't. I can't see that because your diner has a policy, but yet you're opening on Sunday. See, it's a slippery slope on this one. I can see what they're going. I can see what they did up to a point. Now the governor's taking a lot of backlash. Now, a lot of people are, you know. And I see what he's saying. Uh, it, it's it skirmishes in the cultural legal battle. It, 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 it kind of circumvents the discriminational practices. But like I said, again, like I said, I see it to a point. Like like I'm a business owner, uh, and I am a business owner, by the way. If I'm a business owner, say say they want to make say this one guy say say this. Got to this guy out of prison. Like there's situations where rich people, their kids go to prison for some something real fucking sick like pedophilia, and they come out. Say this guy wanted to hire me for, I'm like, no, nah, you're a pedo. I'm gonna work for you. <laughs> you're a pedo. Would that be discrimination? To the sum it would be. But based on my principles and based on what I believe, I think pedophilia is punishable by death. So it's it's a real slippery slope. I mean, the governor he went on on what's his name, George Stephanopoulos show on Sundays. He went on that. Well, I forget what his name show right now. He went on the George Stephanopoulos. He went on the way. He interviewed him, and, and he he should have known better because Stephanopoulos was a Clinton Clinton crony. So you know that it was coming. Some of the questions that were going to come to you. So me personally. 
it's a, it's, it's, it's a, I can agree with it to, to a certain degree, but in this, but another degree, it's like some people want to take it a little further than what its intended use is for. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna keep on this development and let you guys know. All right, peace.